Hey you mob, Lena here. Welcome to today's workout. Don't forget you need a water bottle, a sweat towel and some space to get moving in and don't forget to do a quick warm up. And have fun! So with our push-ups, we've got heaps of options, which is great. We can start on our knees and lowering our body down to the ground all at the same time, squeezing our um, glutes together. We can go tricep and we can go wide set. <laughs> or you can use something like a park bench to get a little bit of elevation. It's a little bit kinder, coming all the way down. Or you can use something a little bit higher again, like a table. So the further your feet are away from the table, the harder that is. So for air punches, you want to have a nice stance, one leg in front of the other, if that feels comfortable. Have your arms up, and you're going to just punch the air, making sure that we don't lock our elbows, have nice soft elbows. And then if you want to put some speed into it, you can do that too. Okay, with our half hinders, we're starting in that high plank position and then getting back into that A-frame. And then what we want to do is a little bit like you want to pretend like you're diving underneath a, a really low barbed wire fence. So you want to come fold your elbows in alongside your bodies, get all the way down and push back up again. And then you're going to push back up into that A-frame. So bending those elbows, under, up, back. So it goes elbows, under, up. So variation things, you might just want to do a body swing. So starting back in our A-frame, hips and pelvis to the ground, chest, head and shoulders up, and back. You just go for where works for you. With our shoulder taps, we're starting in that plank position, nice and high. Get a good base on your feet, and we're tapping our shoulders. Now again, you can do this on a wall, on a table, we can do them on your knees. Nice, smooth control. Trying to limit that swing of the hips back here. Don't want to see these ones. Nice, smooth control. Trying to keep those hands stacked under your shoulders. Okay, so we've got a few variations for the plank. So the first one is you want to be on your knees and your elbows and you don't want to have your bottom too high in the air. You want it down and really squeeze your core and keep your shoulders peeled back. If you want something a little more challenging, you can go up on your um, toes, making sure that you don't put your bottom too high or too low. You want it kind of like a bridge. And then if your elbows are a bit much, you can come up onto your hands. Same thing, keeping your shoulders back and squeezing your core. And if you want something a little bit easier, you can grab a fence or a wall and you want to keep your um, feet width apart and just pushing up and make sure you're squeezing your core and the further your feet are away from the support, the harder it is. So with our Cobras, a couple of things, we want to keep our elbows tucked nice and tight against our ribs. And what we're aiming to do is come down, go side to side and then push back up again. And this is going to look a little bit different for everybody. So we've got a couple of options. So on our toes, you can go all the way down, side, side and push back up again. You might go down to here, side, side and push back up again. You might go on your knees, down, side, side and push back up again. Or you might use something like a table or the um, fence around an oval as a sturdy surface. Side, side, push back up. 